Here's why I stopped buying Airbnbs and why you should too. Here's the deal. If your Airbnb has not been very profitable or if you're seeing a lot more competition, then it might be time for you to change your strategy. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm doing that and how you might be able to do it too. So the first reason why I'm changing my strategy and I'm no longer buying Airbnbs, I'm actually going to be building them instead, is because where I currently have my short-term rentals, I'm seeing more laws come into place regarding short-term rentals. Now they're still allowed in my town and I don't think that they'll be outlawed anytime soon, but I now have to pay an annual fee and I have to register my short-term rentals. And with this information, it's certainly possible for my local city to say, limit the number of permits that they'll issue or say that short-term rentals can only be located in a certain location. And I just don't want to run that risk. I would much rather go to a place that really welcomes short-term rentals and frankly is built for them. So where am I headed? So for me and what I wanna do, it actually makes a lot more sense to go into a pure vacation rental market. So what a vacation market is, is a place where tourists come on a very regular basis and importantly, the local economy really relies on tourist dollars. So they've created a whole system where Tourists will have places to eat, they'll have places to stay, and they'll have things to do. And most importantly, the local town or community will make it easy for new businesses to come into place. And having much more easy regulations and having a town that is built for vacationers is really where I'd wanna be. I'm just going with the flow of the water rather than against it, making my life a lot easier. And frankly, a more profitable business. So the third reason I'm no longer buying Airbnbs, I'm actually gonna be building them instead, is that I want to create a whole lot more equity. And what I mean by that is I am buying raw land and I'm going to be building multiple homes on it, unique structures. It's gonna include geodomes, it's going to include cabins, it's gonna include yurts. And I'm going to be creating a lot of value in the process. And if you're newer to real estate investing, you may not know that real wealth is built in equity. It is not built in cash flow. So if you are able to put up a new building and create two, three, four hundred thousand dollars in value, that gets added to your net worth that didn't previously exist. So not only am I going to be getting cash flow on a monthly basis, but I'm going to have properties that are worth hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars. And that to me is a much better use of the money that I have to invest, to create a lot more wealth and to do so more quickly. So it ends up just not being worth it to me to buy a $500,000 house that maybe I'll make $1,000 a month versus buying a piece of land for a couple hundred thousand dollars, paying a few hundred thousand dollars to put up a home and then having that be worth two, three, or even $400,000 more than I paid to put it up. So that's it. That's why I stopped buying Airbnbs and maybe you should think about doing that same thing. If you want more information about what it's like to buy raw land, check out this video here. And if you want to connect with me for consultation or you want to check out my links to become an Airbnb host or furnish and decorate your Airbnbs like a pro, check out my links down below in the description box. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.